Pre-production began with contacting my first choice client, Don't Text and Drive Foundation, as its message is one that I believe in. During research, I found many stylized and live action advertisements that form my competitive framework. I began work on forming an emotionally connected story through the use of colors and stylization, beginning with simple storyboards and animatics which were sent to the client for input. Although the initial idea was good in theory, the stylization of the animation would have been too childlike and lost impact on the intended audience of young adults. This led me to research the influence game technology has on the Australian community. Based on the research findings, I set out and created a new concept that would have the animation based within Unreal Engine. I researched the competitive framework surrounding Unreal Engine and modern driving simulators and games. I researched the methods of creating an animation in Unreal Engine using the matinee editor for timeline keyframe animation and what the components are that make up the style of a modern driving game or simulation. Before production began, I formed a production workflow and pipeline to keep all aspects on track. Creating the set within Unreal Engine proved to be a very straightforward process, with the built-in tools for landscape sculpting, advanced spline deformations for making roads, and all essential real-time erosion methods that I used to create a hilly country style road section that would be common on the east coast of Australia. Creating a believable landscape required the use of landscape painting materials. The materials applied to a landscape that use weight blending to layer various materials on top of one another to create a highly realistic terrain. This is an example of the initial landscape material on the left and the master landscape material created using the Substance plugin on the right. The orange highlighted boxes are the main node in both images. To complete the set, I used the Unreal Engine demo trees and grass. The foliage tool within Unreal Engine allows for multiple static meshes to be painted onto a landscape just as the painting materials is used. All other props except for the cars used were created in Maya and imported into Unreal Engine through the Autodex FBX pipeline. The character was rigged to be able to perform complex actions due to the initial concept. However, this rig allowed me to perform the simple animations needed in the final concept. All skeletal animation was done in Maya with the reference interior of the car. This proved challenging as importing the animation that was on the control rig did not work within Unreal Engine. I had to bake the keys of each control onto the bones which were affected by the control's movement and then export the skeletal animation to Unreal Engine. All materials were created in Unreal Engine using the Material Editor and Photoshop for creating diffuse, normal and specular maps that were required. Blueprints were used to create all non-keyframe animations such as rotating tires and steering wheel and to implement the skeletal animation onto the skeletal mesh within the car blueprint. The frame rate chosen to capture the footage and renders was 100 frames a second which resulted in better motion blur calculation and light bounce calculation in Unreal Engine and reduced motion blur when using the GoPro. All footage was rendered and captured in 4K and downscaled to 1080p. The footage was composited in After Effects. The glitch effect proved difficult with the RGB slip created using a slider and motion offset that allowed me to keyframe the amount of slippage. The displacement was created with a layer effect and a stock footage as the reference layer. In the final GoPro shot, there are a total of five different takes stitched together as the captured lens is so wide that I could not avoid capturing unwanted traffic, better transitions between angles and a more violent landing. Color grading was performed in speed grade using the Adobe production pipeline. The emphasis on the color grading was increasing the saturation of all the footage and creating a high dynamic range of color. In addition to speed grade, Adobe Audition was used for mixing the audio with the final mix in 5.1 surround sound for a more immersive viewing.